already thank God yet for the time he has given us these times. Because there's a place where Paul says that uh, if you still have time, you shouldn't take any, I mean delay, take any delay. But anything that we post on this YouTube channel, I pray that may God give you the grace so that you may actually pay attention or pay heed to them. Because when you hearken to hearken the things of God, these are the things of eternal values. These are the things that actually holds our eternal destiny. So today, I want us also to continue with our, uh, with our, uh, with our discussions and our presentations, uh, which is actually uh, uh, a way of trying to show us the current situation, how the devil is cunningly devising plans to destroy humanity. So we are technically not uh, 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 directly uh, trying to introduce the new order plan, but we are looking at the word of God, the new world order plan I mean, but we are looking the word of God as we compare it and contrast against the current wave that actually is full of deception, that is leading, actually sometimes we call it a planned genocide. So what, what are we saying? How should we live in this situation, under these circumstances? Can you read for us uh, the word of God? Uh, John chapter 1, then up to 7. Okay. It says, I am the true vine, mm. and my father is the husbandman. Amen. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, Amen. he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it. Yes. That it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Amen. Now, you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Mm -hmm. Abide in me. And, and and in you, mm -hmm. as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself mm. except it abide in the vine, mm. no more can you except you abide in me. Mm. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, mm -hmm. the same bringeth forth much fruit, mm -hmm. for without me you can do nothing. Mm -hmm. If a man abide not in me, mm -hmm. He is cast forth as a branch and mm -hmm. is withered. Mm -hmm. And men gather them mm -hmm. and cast them into the fire. Mm -hmm. And they are burned. Mm -hmm. If you abide in me mm -hmm. and my words abide in you, mm -hmm. you shall ask what you will mm -hmm. and it shall be done unto you. And then if you stop there, what does the Bible tell us? The Bible is simply telling us here that he, under these current circumstances, under this wave of global genocide, we are to live by the word of God not to live by the word of man. Any person that actually professes the name of Christ, more was so, or any person that actually believes that was created by God, who is not an atheist, at this material time, must look critically with a watching, how can you watch? With a watching eye. What am I saying here? That we need to live to abide by the word of Christ. The Bible is our money. We should go back to the to Genesis. How did God create us? What were the purposes of God in creating us? Are we created to be robots, to be, I mean, like automating machines? Or we are created to be free, intelligent beings? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So we are to live. No one should dictate for you how to live. Amen. It is the Bible is our manual. No one should teach a Christian, a sincere Christian, a man of God, how to live. Jesus is the one who tells us how to live because we live by his word, not the words that we hear, the calculated, manipulative words from the media. Pretended, I mean, planned lies intended to trap men or to decoy or to lead men into perdition. The devil right now is laying grounds for the new world order. He's planning, just laying foundations for his insidious plan which the Bible actually is going to end up into worshipping the mark of the beast. So what I'm saying here, if we are created by God, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8, you can read there, the book of, as you open, the book of Romans chapter 8 says that, a man who has not the spirit of God is carnal. We should, a man of God like we, we shouldn't be actually dictated or taught how to live, or taught as men, men, men call it public health, how to live, I mean, how can a carnal man direct a man of the spirit? Amen? Is that possible? It is possible. It is us, actually. How do we? How can a man tell you how to live? A man, actually, who doesn't know God. 
How did he know public health? How did he know health? Actually, by definition, does he know what health means? He doesn't know. So, what does the Bible say? Romans 8. Yes. Uh, from verse, uh, let me read from verse 2. Yes, from verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life, yes. Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Amen. For what the law could not do, Amen. in that it yes. was weak through the flesh, yes. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, mm. and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. You can go on in chapter 7. Okay. Chapter, I mean verse 7. Okay. Verse 7. Uh, because the carnal I'll mind. Read, I'll read. Okay. Yes. yes. Verse 7. Because the carnal mind yes. is an enmity yes. against God. Amen. For it is not subject to the law of the God. The carnal mind is at war with God. A man that is not born of God cannot tell you how to live. It is the Bible that actually tells us, talks about our sanctification. Amen? Our sanctification of health. Uh, I mean, because a healthy mind, do, I mean, the Bible talks about a health, as, uh, I mean, a healthy mind and a healthy body. You cannot be clean in mind, I mean, in the body, when you are not clean in what? In the spirit or in your mind. So we are always renewed. A man of God, I mean, we, we are renewed by the word of God. A man that is carnal, however educated he might be, because education is, a, I mean, is educated in certain things, but we are talking about God, eternal God, who knows all things, who is actually the one who created us, who know exactly how we need to operate. Praise the Lord. Amen. So a carnal man who is not subject to the law of God, actually who cannot even hear God, who has not the spirit of God, cannot tell us how to live. It is the Bible to tell us how to live. How did God intend us to live? Praise the name of the Lord. This is the essence. A carnal man, we should not allow ourselves to be deceived by media, by planned lies, by this flooding, by manipulation, brainwashing. Actually, this is, this is uh, I mean, uh, mind control programs that are always on media intended to manipulate planned lies that just put there for you to feed on we shouldn't feed on whatever propaganda that's going on we should know how to live by the word of god the essence of our discussion in this presentation is that it is not time to live by the words of men by the words of carnal men by the words of the devil but it is us to live by the word of god because it is the word of god that is light jesus says is the light of life any man who has not the spirit of Christ, actually, has no light. He, he stumbles. Amen? Because Christ is the light of life. Without him, you can stumble whether you like it or not. So may God bless you as we shall continue next time.